Hi, I'm Caitlin, and today we're going to be reading O Bichinho de Massa, a very popular Brazilian children's book by the author Zeraldo. But this story time is going to be a little bit different because this book is in Portuguese. And so you're going to help me tell the story today, and we're all going to learn some new words in Portuguese together. O Bichinho da Massa means the apple bug in Portuguese. Try saying this with me. O Bichinho da Massa. As we read this book, I'm going to show you the illustrations and you're going to think about what is happening in them. I'm also going to teach you how to say some fun words in Portuguese. In this first illustration, we see a big red apple and a little bug poking his head out. The word for apple in Portuguese is massa. The word for bug is bichinho. What do you think is happening in this picture? Next, we see a bunch of animals all crowding around the big apple tree. Apple tree in Portuguese is macieira. Let's learn how to say the names of some of these animals in Portuguese. An elephant in Portuguese is elefancha. A crocodile is crocodilo. And a tiger is chigra. What do you think the animals are all doing? Now we see the beautiful garden that the apple tree is in. I see a flower, or in Portuguese, flor, and a butterfly, or in Portuguese, borboleta. What do you think is happening in this garden? Oh, now a snake is looking at the apple tree. In Portuguese, snake is serpentia. What do you think the snake is thinking about? Huh, now there's a hand reaching up to the apple. In Portuguese, hand is mo. What do you think the hand is doing? Now, the hand that is holding the apple is walking away, and it looks like that snake is following. You can say walk in Portuguese by saying caminha. Where do you think the apple is going? Uh-oh! It looks like someone's trying to eat the apple. In Portuguese, eat is come. Is the bug going to be okay? It looks like the bug might be trying to yell something. Yell in Portuguese is brada. What do you think the bug is trying to say? Now it looks like the apple is falling out of the hand. In Portuguese, fall is cai. Why do you think the apple is falling? This is the last illustration in the book, and it looks like everybody is smiling and happy. Smile in Portuguese is sorriso. Do you think this story has a happy ending? Thank you so much for telling this story with me. See if you can tell this story again, all the way from beginning to end. And if you want, you can even add to it. Draw a new illustration and figure out where it could go with the pictures that are already in the story.